Today's video is extra special as we delve into the wisdom of a generation that truly understood the essence of minimalism. We're sitting down with my own grandmother, a remarkable woman who has practiced the principles of simplicity and minimalism throughout her life. Today, she's sharing her top 40 insights on minimalist, meaningful living. Let's explore the timeless wisdom my grandma has to share. Her insights can be divided into eight main areas, each with its unique lessons. We'll kick off with the mindset and philosophy behind minimalism, contentment, the key to happiness lies not in having more, but in appreciating what you already have. Contentment brings peace and satisfaction. Less is more. Fewer things mean less to worry about, less to clean and less stress. Embrace the beauty of having less. Experiences over possessions. Memories last longer than physical possessions. Cherish experiences and relationships over material things Quality over quantity. High quality items might be pricier initially, but they outlast cheap, low quality items, saving you money and reducing waste in the long run, living within your means. It's important to avoid the societal pressure of keeping up with everyone else's lifestyle. Live according to your means and you'll experience less financial stress. Next, let's talk about household management. Regular decluttering. Make it a habit to declutter regularly. A clean and clutter-free home is a peaceful home. Capsule wardrobe. Embrace the idea of a capsule wardrobe. It saves you time, money, and helps reduce decision fatigue. Practical kitchen tools. Invest in practical, multi-purpose kitchen tools. They simplify cooking and save space. Basic repair skills. Learn basic repair skills. You don't need to replace everything that breaks. DIY cleaning products. Homemade cleaning products are cheap, eco-friendly, and less harmful to your health. Now, let's move on to relationships and community. Before we dive into the topic at hand, I have a small request to make. If you're enjoying this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could show your support by subscribing to the channel. This way, you'll be the first to know about future content and updates, and it will also help us reach a wider audience. Thank you for your consideration. Family bonds. Family is precious. Nurturing those bonds and relationships is of utmost importance. Being a good neighbor. Being a good neighbor builds a sense of community and fosters a mutual support system. Generosity. Giving without expecting anything in return enriches your soul and strengthens your relationships. Cherishing traditions. Preserve and honor your family traditions. They provide a sense of belonging and connect generations. Teaching values. Teach the younger generation the principles of simplicity and the value of minimalism. It's a gift that will benefit them throughout their lives. Grandma has also shared some valuable financial wisdom. Rainy day fund. Always have a fund for emergencies. It gives you peace of mind and reduces stress in times of unexpected events. Avoid debt. Avoiding debt as much as you can is crucial. True freedom is about owing nothing to anyone. Quality investments. Invest in quality, not just in products, but also in experiences. It pays off in the long run. Embracing frugality. Being frugal is not about being stingy, but being resourceful and appreciative of what you have. Budgeting. Planning and budgeting for your finances reduces anxiety and helps prevent impulsive purchases. Next, we delve into food and nutrition. Home gardening. If possible, try to grow your own vegetables. It's rewarding, healthy, and you know exactly where your food is coming from. Cooking from scratch. Cook from scratch whenever you can. It's healthier, tastier, and more economical. Food preservation. Learn to preserve food. It's a lost art that saves money and reduces waste. Shared meals. Meal times are opportunities for connection. Sharing meals with family and friends brings people closer. Minimizing food waste. Be creative with leftovers and try to minimize food waste. It respects the resources that went into producing the food. We can't forget about leisure and entertainment. Joy in simplicity. Find joy in simple things. A beautiful sunset, a good book, a hot cup of tea. These are real, pure pleasures. DIY entertainment. Create your own entertainment. 
engage in games, storytelling, and laughter. You don't need expensive gadgets or outings to have a good time. Time in nature. Spend time in nature. It's refreshing, grounding, and a great way to reconnect with yourself and the world around you. Invest in hobbies. Invest time in hobbies that bring you joy. They enrich your life and boost your creativity. Reading. Reading is a source of knowledge, wisdom, and a great escape from the daily grind. She also emphasized the importance of self-improvement and education. Continuous learning. Never stop learning. Stay curious and keep your mind sharp. The world is vast and fascinating. Questioning. Ask questions and seek answers. It keeps your mind active and expands your understanding. Sharing knowledge. Share your knowledge with others. It's a wonderful way to give back and brings personal satisfaction. Encourage creativity. Creativity is a beautiful outlet for self-expression and a way to enrich your life. Problem solving. Develop problem solving skills. They're more useful than simply complaining about a situation. Lastly, she shares some precious wisdom about health and well-being. Regular sleep. Maintaining a regular sleep schedule is a pillar of good health. Physical activity. Stay active. Movement is essential for a healthy body and a clear mind. Natural remedies. Try natural remedies when possible. They've been trusted for centuries and are often less invasive. Mental health. Never ignore your mental health. Rest, rejuvenate, and seek help when needed. Support system. It's okay to lean on others. Building a strong support system is key for mental and emotional well-being. And there we have it. 40 nuggets of wisdom from a life lived in simplicity and contentment. Now, the real challenge begins. How can we apply these to our lives? Remember, minimalism is a journey, not a destination. Start small, choose one area you'd like to focus on, and gradually incorporate these lessons. We'd love to hear from you. Do you have any lessons from your elders on simple living? Let's create a community of wisdom sharing. Share your stories in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this wisdom. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more content on embracing a more intentional and minimalist lifestyle. Until next time, remember, less is indeed more. Keep it simple and stay happy.